Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 14 of Europa Universalis 4 as the Mamluks. Before I start, I would like to say a very big thank you once again to my Patreon supporter Bobby Fender for sponsoring this video with his generous donation. It really does help me out. YouTube is still being annoying. As a classic example, yesterday I recorded episodes 11, 12 and 13. I uploaded them yesterday afternoon and they were fine. They didn't get demonetized. And then as soon as episode 11 went to go live, which was 2 p.m., um, it got demonetized literally right as it went live. So all of those people that saw that video in their sub box and went and clicked on it and watched it didn't see any ads at all, which, you know, is great for the people watching it, but not so good for me. The other two videos that I uploaded didn't get touched, although at the time of recording this, which is just before 4 p.m., they have now also been demonetized as well. So thank you very much, YouTube, for once again screwing over your content creators. That being out of the way, I hope that my audio um, and uh, uh, game capture software is actually rec uh, capturing the game audio this time around, because the last three videos it didn't. So you may have noticed a lack of sound effects where I just had to replace the, the soundtrack with, uh, with music, basically, but no UI sounds. Hopefully that has all been resolved now. So we are just getting in a position to attack um, Baghdad, I believe I was going to attack. I think that was the plan. Something like that. We, we want to take Baghdad. Yes, yes, we do. Now, they do actually have four provinces. I hadn't noticed, but they've actually got these two provinces over here as well. Um, we'll see what we can do, though. Uh, let's keep towards legalism. Now, we will need to get an army over towards Baghdad. What are all my armies doing at the moment? You are up here waiting possibly for some thing that might never happen this could be a quite quick war i'm going to stop these guys from drilling and i'm going to stop these guys from drilling and we're going to try and get this war just done really really quick and hopefully we won't get any rebellions spawn in the meantime we'll get you down here we might need to get some open borders here now one problem i'll have with these provinces is i won't be able to core them so maybe i'll just try and force vassalize these guys because they do have four provinces, which makes them a little bit m more of a worthy vassalization target. It's pretty much not worth vassalizing somebody who only has um, two provinces. Because you might as well just take them and annex them. Um, but yeah, four provinces might well be worth doing. Doesn't like we can get much more of an improvement with um, Najran. Which is fine. We will, uh, we will deal with that. So you guys are literally about ready. You're not at full... Um, maintenance. Do you know what? We're only a, like a month, few days away from the month tick. So there we go. Full maintenance. We can go ahead and dive in on these guys when we need to. So let's go ahead over here. And are you the guy we were we were sucking up to? I thought you were the guy that we were going to try and attack. No, it's Baghdad that we want to try and attack, isn't it? And then you're the guys that we want to take. So we want to take Baghdad itself, but we might vassalize the rest of them. Okay, right, this might work out. It might be a terrible idea. Uh, you are allied with Georgia. We're not too bothered about that. They're a little bit too far north for me to care about. Um, Nazran won't even come in, according to this. Georgia will. Why won't you come in? Because you're 154 ducats in debt. Hmm. I mean, I could give them that money to get them into the war. If, um... But I don't really want to lose the money. Let's let's wait a little while. Let's just wait and see if we can get them in. Because we know they do have some money. If they'd agree to get in this war, let, let's wait a little while and just get our armies back to um, back to doing this. Maybe if we're really lucky, we can actually get Georgia not to be in the war. Um, Georgia, can we... You are outraged by us. Let's go ahead and try and improve relations here. I doubt we're going to have much of an effect. Um, but we'll we'll do what we can. Uh, there's a very long conversion there that we could do. 144 months is a long time, but religious unity is dropping, so we would like to try and keep up with that. We might have to go religious ideas. We're not at the admin cap, but we're a fair few years ahead of time. So the question then becomes, what do we do with the spare admin points? There isn't really... We're already at max stability. 
Um, there isn't really any point buying down the inflation. Uh, I believe that this is done with, yeah, that's Diplo points. So there's no point increasing mercantilism. So we could go ahead and get some um, development. Wherever is going to be the cheapest cost. And just, yeah, just, just build up the, uh, some admin development. That'll do for now. We'll keep our eye on it. So let's wait a little while. Let's also keep our eye on these rebel factions and see if we can make sure that uh, none of those fire. Because that would be potentially bad. But yeah, if these guys get themselves out of debt, it'll make it a little bit easier for us to do that. Because I would like to take these two provinces while I'm doing it. That's kind of the, the reason. Loser stability. Gain a corruption and lose some money. Well, we definitely don't want that one. Or lose 25 Diplo. Um, sure, we'll just take the Diplo here. It's not uh, not too drastic, that one. We should be okay. And now we can... Um, local tax modifier for 20 years on one province, but we gain a base tax, base production. Sure. We'll take, we'll take a 10-year a, a reduction to get some long-term benefits. I don't mind doing that. Really do want to get some of these loans paid off, which is the reason why I also wanted to get these guys involved. We could take all of their money and take both provinces, but they're in debt, which doesn't really help. Um, they're still 161 in debt. I mean, I could pay, pay it off for them, but that kind of defeats the purpose. Because they'd just pay that debt off and then they wouldn't have any money and I'd be the one out of pocket. Move towards legalism, lose some prestige. We don't really get local unrest. Do we want to move down now towards um, mysticism? Get that extra 3% missionary strength. Because most of our, well, some of these ones, the missionary strength is like really in the toilet. But if we could get all the way down into mysticism, I mean, we are getting a 20% national tax modifier, which is nice. Let's try and stay legalism just until we've got out of debt. Then we'll try and push towards mysticism and, and get the conversions done. Besides, if we can actually go ahead and get uh, religious ideas, which wouldn't be terrible, uh, that might help us out. So. You guys down here, uh, Najran, I'm getting, so you haven't got any money, right? Um, we're in alphabetical order. Let's have a quick look. Uh, still can't find you. Najran, you've got an entire six ducats in the bank. Why are you so poor? Now you've got five ducats in the bank. You're actually losing money. Okay, well, I've got a mission. I might just go and just take these guys straight out. So let's get you guys to stop drilling. Um, where are these guys going to pop? Uh, Bisha and Jazan, which our province is somewhere. These ones. So we'll... Um, we'll Stop these guys from drilling if that gets up to 80%. That's assuming I remember. These guys shouldn't be too hard to jump on, although this is their capital, so they're more likely down there. It is possible that Georgia might try something. Um, in fact, better idea. Let's get you up here to defend from Georgia. You are going to stay down here because we know that we're going to have some issues. Uh, where is my other army? Down there. I don't think you need to be down there. So let's get you... Let's get you over there. We may have some issues, but we'll do what we can. We're about to get a conversion done. Which will be good. Almost done on some core constructions as well. Right, now we can get the admin tech again. It would be nice. We are about to try and take a couple of provinces though. 
Now, I'm thinking now, if I can only attack these guys, maybe I want to take these two provinces and make the other two a vassal. It's, it's an idea. It might work. Yeah, you're going to stay down there. That's probably going to get up to 80%. The court is almost done, though. Still on 70%. How much money are we making? 976. Um, 1st of January. We'll soon be able to pay off a loan. That should be nicely done. Right, so you're going to get in place. You're already in place. There's another core done. We can purchase another ability. We could have more cavalry, but I don't really think I want them. We're still not doing colonies. Combat bonus in terrain of capital. We might as well take it, although it's not going to be all that useful to us. You're going to get down here. Right, okay, let's go ahead and just get this started. We are going to declare war. Georgia will come in. Nezran will not. That is fine. Let's go ahead and confirm. Uh, we're going to march straight in there and take you out. Did Georgia get involved? Yes, they clearly did. So let's put our army in there. These guys should be easy enough to deal with. So I'm not too concerned about that. In fact, we've stacked white them. Let's go and get these two provinces done as quickly as possible. Can use a cultural interaction. Is this one again? Sure, reduces all of our power costs. We might as well do it. Spend a few because we are getting close to the cap. And then that'll, that will, I also believe, counts for coring and ideas and, and every, everything that uses um, monarch points, it affects. How many forts have you guys got next to each other? In fact, that's broken because I should be able to just march straight through to your capital. Okay, so the AI could do it, but it wouldn't let me do it. Fine, we'll go and take this fort. I ain't got a problem with that. Right, we have a warning about um, dudes. So let's go ahead and undrill you because you are the guys that will be dealing with it. Now then, can we walk through here? We cannot. So, can we get open borders with you? Well, you like me. Um, you like me and you wouldn't accept vassalization because why now? Economic base. Seems a bit harsh. Okay, well, anyway. Um, oh, we have an alliance with you, do we? Oh no, that's our uh, great power interaction. Access actions is what I'm looking for. As for military access, they will almost certainly say yes. They have said yes. Um, oh, I did not realise that this province down here also belonged to these guys as well. Well, that'll be quite nice for us. Right, let's get you guys grouped together. Um... Right, you guys are heading where? Because you can't head through the wasteland. We can capture that one stack. We're going to capture that... Well, it's not capture, but kill that other one stack. Will you not let me click on stuff, please? Right, there we go. There's a conversion done. So let's get over here and um, siege out the... Re oh, wow, that was a kill and a half, wasn't it? Um, so you guys get over there. Yeah, this is going to be really quick. As for Georgia... They do have a 16 stack, just sitting around waiting politely in the capital. That uh, rebel faction may well pop. In fact, there it is. Uh, right on top of us as well. Which should be good. That should go away quite quickly. Okay, rebellion dealt with. So, we've lost an advisor, which is annoying. Military guy. Fort defense, not too great. Morale of armies would be nice. Can we afford it? Not really. But we are getting loans. But let's take him for now. We're not going to be making as much money. Do you know what I forgot to do as well? And I should do this at the start of every war. And I always forget. Is I should go ahead and raise war taxes. Because it doesn't cost us anything. We get reduced land and naval maintenance. And there's zero cost to it. I, and the only reason the zero cost is because we have the idea that gives it to us. War, ca war taxes cost minus 100%. I really think that when you take that decision, they should just make it automatic. Because there's no downside. Why would you not do it? Um, Dongola. Which is over here. So you guys go and get over here ready for another potential rebellion. You guys are going to get that, no problem. And... Um, I don't know, Georgia. Do we want to try and force vassalize Georgia? Do we want to try and take something? I mean, we probably can't anyway. They're probably too big. 
126%. We could definitely take a couple of provinces from them and make them small enough to vassalize in the future. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. Right, let's pull you guys back out of there. We should get that before too long. We'll definitely take, like, these two provinces and maybe vassalize the rest. How many relationship slots do we have left? We're actually one over. So vassalizing is not the greatest idea. You've actually managed to give me the slip there. You crafty little buggers. You've only got an 11k stack, though. So let's jump in on top of you. Unfortunately, we did take the terrain penalty, but we're definitely winning that battle. In a huge way, we stack... Well, I've forgotten that these guys have got so little um, morale. You're not going to let me chase you down, are you? Let's just go and sit straight in your capital. Ah, that's good for us, because now we're going to catch that army. I'll catch that army all day long. Excellent. Let's just sit here a little while in the capital. We should be fine. Ah, you've taken our province that we were capturing. Well, that's not good. Let's go down and deal with those guys, because we want that for ourselves. Thank you very much. Yeah, I was just watching. I wasn't too sure whether they were going to try and come back. I mean, they're going to be stuck behind that fort anyway, and they're going to need at least a three stack to take it, I believe. So they're all heading south. They're probably trying to cut through uh, a jam here, which is fine. Just leave them there to, to get on with it, basically. Uh, what do we want to do here? National tax modifier minus 10%. I'd prefer not. Let's give the merchant guilds some loyalty. We don't have a leader here, but I think that's going to be fine. It's only rebels. This is at 7%. You guys are still trying to sneak some units around, but you, you're going to find yourself stuck in a few places. We're getting very close to the cap as well. So we are going to want to start taking some stuff soon. I would love to take these two provinces from Georgia, if I'm honest. It would be quite nice. We've renewed a loan. Which is unfortunate, but it's fine. Let's get you over there. Um, what's this going on? New state emerges in the Sudan. For quite some time we have ignored the Sudanese land where the last of the old Nubian Christian kingdoms maintained their pitiful remnants. But such neglect is no longer possible. A vibrant new state called the Sinar has been formed in the southern migrants called the Funj. Um, or the Funi, maybe, I don't know. Uh, who came in and conquered the remains have made a large new state that extends to our borders. Okay, so what just happened where, why and how now? Oh, these guys. Right, so this this is just appeared down here. Oh, well, that's fine. Just a random new new guy just appearing. Uh, you guys instantly dislike me. That's fine. We'll go and kill you guys later. So you guys are moving out. Yes, you are. I'm just paused, so everything's going really slowly. You guys are at a 14% chance to grab that. Now 21% chance. Lost another advisor. Everything's determined to cost me money today. Um, improved relations is probably fine for now. Move towards legalism. Well, either way is move towards legalism. Um, a skill 2 national unrest advisor. 50% cheaper. That's actually not a bad idea. So this is a skill two guy, and he's only two... Yeah, he's better than the guy we've currently got. Well, I mean, he isn't. But he's cheaper. No, it's the, it's the military guy that we're, we're paying for. But that wouldn't be terrible. A reduced national unrest guy for half price. Let's do it. I know we're still in debt. We are paying loans off, though. I mean, we're already down to three. Which is good. We've just renewed one, which is bad. Um, we can invest in an idea, which would be a military idea for fort-type stuff. Um, I think we'll wait, though, and try and take the tech. So 
So let's see. Oh, that's nice. Um, move towards legal. Let's keep towards legalism. You're moving in there. Let's just detach a siege, and you're not movement locked yet, though. So wait until you are. Right, there we go. Now, remember, we control the fort, so instantly we are classified as being the defender. Not that it would really make a lot of difference, because they're so weak anyway, but let's get you guys in over there. We are getting very close to the admin cap, so I do want this war to be over quite quickly. So we'll try and take a couple of provinces from um, Georgia just to make them smaller. And then hopefully that will allow us to maybe vassalize them in a subsequent war. That's kind of the plan that I'm going for here. We're just getting a little bit unlucky on the rolls. Some reduced local goods produced. There's another fort. We could just march down here into Yerevan. There's no reason why not to. Did we get your capital? We did. But you're actually now trying to take that back, which we need to put a stop to. Well, this should be over quite quickly, but we'll probably have to conclude it in the next video. Because I am going to have to end things there, and we didn't actually get the fort. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying EU4. Once again, a very big thank you to my Patreon supporter, Bobby Fender, for sponsoring this video. And I will see you guys next time. Until then, goodbye for now.